Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to make a custom 3D printed ornament. So stick around to see how we do it. So how are we going to be 3D printing this ornament? We're going to take advantage of some of the settings in Cura, which can stop a 3D print mid-print in order for you to change out the filament color and continue the print in a different filament color. So should we get designing? Yeah, let's get to designing. Okay, so we're in Google and we're just going to um, search up Snowflake Clip Art. Go to Images. Then you're going to go to Tools. You can go here to Usage Rights and you can just click on Creative Common Licenses. I think I like this one the best. It's like simple enough to 3D print, but complex enough to where it's, you it's know, not boring. <laughs> parts aren't going to like break off. So we'll click on this one. So now we're in Fusion 360 and we're going to go ahead and import the image that we just downloaded so that we could use its shape when creating our, our 3D project. So we're going to go to Insert. Choose a plane we're going to put it on. Okay, now we're just going to scale it up a little bit. And we wanted this to be about 90 millimeters, right? Yeah. So I'm just using the little measuring tools here. That's good enough. We're not going for precision here. So we'll get it roughly centered here. This isn't terribly important. We'll go ahead and finish the sketch. And we'll see what we have imported here. There we go. Okay, so we have a nice, almost complete sketch that we can use to uh, make a 3D part. But before we do that, we have to make a way for it to hang on the tree, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and add a sketch on this plane. millimeters and then we'll do another circle for the inside do eight oh good yeah looks like a yarn can hang from the tree exactly so we can actually move these by dimensioning them there, there. and if we moved it down a little bit so there is more overlap, that, that could be okay. What do you think about that? That looks good. Okay. Finish the sketch, and now you can see we can just click on the parts that we want to extrude by hitting Command at the same time. Kind of want all of this. Hit E for extrude, and then pull up the arrow. I don't want it 10 millimeters thick, so what do you think? Four millimeters thick? I don't know, I still feel like that's a little too thick. Maybe three? Okay, so we'll extrude it down, minus one. So we'll call that good right there, but I do need to get rid of this little bit. And we do that by bringing back up the sketch, and then on the back side, here's our sketch, and click on that circle and extrude that and if I just bring it out you can see it's red because it's cutting into our design and deleting it so that's good I'll just hit enter and then now we have a nice hole there for our 
hook or a ribbon to go through. This is looking really nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Pretty easy so far, right? Yeah. Very easy. So now we just want to put some text on this top layer here. And to do that, we're going to add a new sketch. And we're going to do that. We want to do it on the front side, right? So now we want to put some text on this, on this top face here. But before we do that, I'm just going to make it over here, a little curved line that we can use to help wrap text around. So just something simple like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add text. And then I'm going to use this line to wrap it. So I'm going to select on the path we want. And you can see here it now wraps around there. Like that. Is that good? Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. So now I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to move. Finish steps there. And now we're going to. You still want to be in that sketch. So edit sketch, we're going to add more text. I do another curved line. This one is going to curve down. And we're going to add the text. Text. This is going to be 2021. And this is going to be big, right? Bigger? That's good. It should be as big as project. Same size as project? Okay. Yeah. So that was 15. And now we're going to put that on this curve. Okay. Now we can finish sketch. And now we can click on each one of these words and extrude them. I'm going to hit Command to hold down multiple. Extrude. And do two millimeters. And that'll be what it looks like. Ooh, that looks really nice. You like it? Yeah, I definitely like it. Yeah. That could work. Pretty easy project. It's really nice, actually. Yeah. And again, the only thing I'm really worried about is this Y is just attached here on the snowflake. So it may break off if we bump it too hard or whatever, but it should print okay because we'll put supports on the back to hold it up. I'm sure it will work fine. Yeah. Okay. Call that good? Yeah. Um, should we put it into our slicer? Yep. First, we need to convert it into an STL file. Okay, select our object, and OK. Okay, we're going to make sure we're using the right filament, and we're going to use PLA filament for this. White and red, right? Yeah. Okay, get that. And that should automatically change material here to 200 degrees. Good. Um, I don't think we need to build plate that up. Okay, so now let's add our ornament. Here's our ornament. Open. And look at that. That'd be beautiful. 
That'd be good, right? Yeah. Okay. So we have our temperature right, and now we need to make sure we have our tree support on, which is what we prefer using for support um, versus the regular support here. And then we'll add a skirt. And then now kind of the, the only real special thing that we're going to do here is we want to add a stop. We want the 3D printer to stop at a certain layer so that we can change the filament into red for the lettering, right? So how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and slice this just like it is. Okay, we're going to preview it. And then we need to find out which layer, and you can see the layer is actually right here. So it's 25 total layers, and we want to see when does the lettering start, because that's when we're going to change the filament. Okay, so right at layer 16. So at layer 16, we want to stop the 3D print so that we can add um, or change the filament out. Modify G code. And we're going to add a script. We want it to filament change at layer 16. 16, exactly. So right here, you can add the amount of retraction that you want just so it gets out of the way so you can change the filament out. Um, so that, that should be good. And when we keep that in there, you'll see that there's a little tool thing here with a number one in here, meaning we have one additional script that we're gonna run. So we close, you can see that it's right there. So at layer 16, it's set up for a filament change. Cool. cool. Yeah. So now we're going to have to re-slice that because it's going to include this G-code and then we can export it and go to the 3D printer. Mm -hmm. Save the file. Yeah, it turned out amazing. I love the two filament colors. It's awesome. It's obviously connected really well. So all we have to do now is take off these little tree supports. That's good. So this is um, the finished results of the 3D print and I think it turned out really nice and I like how we could put text on top of an already made SVG and kind of customize it. Yeah, now we could have obviously just continued the print all the way through in one filament color and then had Megan color it in uh, or paint it with a different color but get really clean results by printing it in two different filament colors. So we like the way it turned out. Mm -hmm.
Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.